and Balo actually got the fort towards the top uh, during all of that. And he will get killed off, but again, a fort for the two kills is not so bad. Play again. Oh. Crick who has to get out of there. It's actually scary when the go, go, go gets going and the spin to win. And the attempt <laughs> oh, on the, the block. blocks. Oh, what? Oh, what? Shad, no shad, no shad, way. Oh, 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 brilliant stuff the, the by The play shad. of the match. The play of the match. And Wood would say play again, hopefully. Yeah. <laughs> soon, uh, Shad is going to take uh, damage from these Vikings, losing them all. Is all it right. worth it? News there, as such, Kreeze is deleted. Now it is into getting focused down, and this is oh, oh, very okay. nice push bit. Uh, yeah, that will uh, delay the damage. Oh. <laughs> Shad started <laughs> dancing too outside of the push bit. He was like uh, one of the fans not admitted into the uh, into the concert room because it was yeah. full, but he's still dancing, kind of rocking out there outside <laughs> in the music. cold. And Shad, as you pointed or wanted to point out, I assume, is currently yeah. even taking camps. Yeah, with Baylock the Fierce and like the colorblind build, as I call it, like you can just take those camps if you play it well. You just have to move Baylock around that only one, like one or two hard camps can attack you at a time. He's kind of mismicring that a little bit, but I think he's kind of busy on other sides. But I think he might take it down slowly but surely. Yeah, he's taking the camp, so that's good. <laughs> I will show you a monster! This time though, team members are on hand. They're on hand. The bunker is out. There's the warden's cage. Yoda is gonna fall in the back lane though. Yoda falls in the back lane and it's all because Zarmany one more time making the plays. The warden's cage is gonna be there and the stiff arm sends that mech destruction all the way out of there. No threat whatsoever. Yeah. Uh, it's a really good point that you bring up. It does feel like night and day. Sanctification goes down, but it's a bit early there. Not a cooldown that they necessarily want to use that early on. Glow nope. comes in, throws down the silence, hits the tracer with that snipe there. Then he's going to follow up with the hook, but no kill yet. Mopsio follows up, but if Sarmini has got to be scooting away, Shad throws down the lurking arm, and it's enough to keep them alive. Shad played that fight so freaking well. The massive shove as Dahaka came in. The silence is two. The roots with virulent reaction. <laughs> They might end up pulling the trigger there, but gonna play it a little bit slower. Man, Look Shad with that. the root in the silence. This guy is disgusting. For Tempo Storm, now we have some contention here over the... the oh, oh Shad my. with that root, the lurking arm double kill. That is Zealots not accepting the fact that Tempo Storm trying to bite off more than they could chew, and Shad clutches it out. That was so very well done. Fight's breaking out. Zugrug has used that, but on the front side, Mopsio is taking a lot of damage. The temporal loop is going to be there, but he's got his self cleanse. Zugrug's going to get blown up. Can they try and trade out here as Mopsio is low, but he is Garrosh. That armor's there. He's going to toss Yoda back in, who's going to get out and bunker. It's available. He's trying to poke down Zarmany. 